So we're here today at Oak Tree Gun Club and we're gonna shoot a bunch of stuff that you see utilized in movies or that you just have around your house to see what's actually bulletproof. Disclaimer, we're here with professionals in a safe environment. Do not try this at home. We're testing it for you. Today we are going to be using the 22 long rifle round, which is a lighter bullet that travels very fast. We're gonna be using a nine millimeter Luger um, and we are going to be using a 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. What does the most damage? The 460 hands down. Because it's the biggest? It's the longest casing with the most powder behind it. It's also the heaviest bullet. So you get a lot of weight with a lot of velocity behind it. 95% of the stuff you see in movies, it's no. It doesn't work. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. They're a bunch of liars. For the most part. The old uh, frying pan bullet trick. We're gonna try and shoot a cast iron skillet with a nine millimeter and a 460 Smith & Wesson. I think that 460 is gonna go through it. Kate's gonna go home without a skillet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, that went through. Nope. What do you mean no? Well, oh yeah. yeah oh yeah, it did. <laughs> <Woo! laughs> Two holes. We got two holes. Nine millimeter hit it almost in a bullseye. I actually thought the nine would bounce off of it. Yeah. It went right through. Turns out, cast iron skillet, not a great shield. Noted. It's time to shoot an iPhone. We're gonna shoot it with a nine millimeter gun. We've only got one shot. Uh, the iPhone didn't survive. <laughs> the front doesn't look so bad. The back looks pretty terrible. <laughs> We're gonna shoot a car door. My prediction is that it will stop the 22. <laughs> that looks like it went through. It looks like it went through. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus so this is the 22 hole. Yeah. That's the nine hole, and this is the 460. The nine went through for sure. The 22, the 22 also went through. Yeah. That's crazy, all three of them went through the door. If you're in a car and you're getting shot at. Get out of your car. <laughs> <laughs> you guys wanna shoot the table? Yeah, we do. Yeah! yeah. So we're gonna shoot a table because I feel like in every movie, you always see people hiding behind tables. And this time, you get to shoot the gun. Go ahead and pick those up. Keep your fingers off the trigger. Go ahead and watch your barrels. You're gonna take aim at that table. Everybody's got eyes and ears on. One, two, three. There we go. Oh yeah, right through the top there. That was Gustav. <laughs> After all we've seen today, the chair's probably not gonna stop a bullet so we might as well just put a bunch of them in it. Right? Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was six, aren't they? We just blew up the chair! Uh, so guns work. Uh, what we learned today was that guns do their jobs and movies are fake but I feel like we probably knew that already. But you don't need to squeeze the gun, I'm talking to you. What? I've got a very soft touch. Uh-huh, <laughs> tell that to that RAV4. You probably ripped it right off the car, right? <laughs>